First Banks Incorporated is a locally owned banking institution that is currently celebrating their legacy of four generations of family ownership. Here with me is the chairman of the board of directors, Michael J. Deerberg. Such an honor to have you here today. Thanks for having me here. Four generations. That's a lot. That's kind of unheard of, I hear. It is rare. Only about 3% make it to the fourth generation. That's interesting. Now, Deerberg's is kind of synonymous with grocery stores in St. Louis, but yet this isn't a grocery store we're talking about. Right. <laughs> now, we happen to have, First Bank does have branches in uh, Deerberg supermarkets. So maybe it would help if I told you a little bit of the history of both because they did follow a, a parallel path. I love history. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, in 1906, uh, First Bank, different name at the time, was founded in Creve Coeur, Missouri. Uh, 1910, uh, my great-grandfather uh, bought the bank, uh, just one branch bank, still in Creve Coeur. Um, and then shortly thereafter, that same person, this is William uh, Deerberg, also bought Deerberg's. Uh, and uh, so from that time, uh, from 1910 for First Bank on until the 1960s, it was essentially a one-branch bank. Uh, and for us, for First Bank, uh, in, uh, in the 1960s, my dad, uh, he had done very well in the stock market and used that money to essentially to buy out his relatives. Uh, and from that point on, he um, essentially went on, a, the bank went on growth spurt um, and grew, grew rapidly uh, from 1960s on so that today we are more than 100 locations in the, around the country, uh, Missouri, Illinois, uh, California, uh, about 50 or more than 50 uh, in the greater St. Louis area and surrounding regions. Um, so Deerberg's had a similar path where the grocery store, uh, again, William Deerberg, my great uh, grandfather, uh, and bought the company. Um, and then it was, it was still a one store company, one you know, grocery store, uh, up until the 1960s, and then my uncle, Robert Deerberg, uh, he bought out his relatives, uh, and then he went on you know, his path of success, and they grew uh, Deerberg's supermarkets. So the two companies are separate, separate ownership, we're related, uh, good <laughs> friends, uh, we still see each other, uh, you know, holidays and those sorts of things, but, but separate companies, and we do have uh, branches in Deerberg supermarkets as well. Now that's really keeping it in the family. That really deal goes with that. Okay, so what is so exciting about having local, you know, I'm, I'm big about what's one of the great things in St. Louis and about all the hidden gems and jewels in St. Louis. So it's kind of neat to see something that started in St. Louis doing so well. What do you attribute the success? I think uh, the key is, key, the biggest key for us is people. Uh, and I think this is a key for a lot of companies, and a lot of companies will say this, that people are really important to the company, and for most companies it is, uh, maybe for all companies, but it's particularly the case for us. Uh, when you think about some of the larger banks in the country, they have names that everybody knows. Uh, whether you, you bank with them or not, you know the name. For example, Chase. Uh, you may not bank with them, there aren't any branches, Chase branches in St. Louis, but you know the name. Uh, so um, for us, we don't have that name recognition. So for us, we really depend on the, the, the quality of our people, the ability of our people to provide great service uh, and to connect in the communities that we serve uh, as our greatest strength. And what I think is interesting, you know, a lot of companies that start small and then grow bigger, you don't find the owners anywhere near the original. They've moved on to their big mansion somewhere else and they've left the town, but you've stayed, your family has stayed local. Your family very much still lives in this area. Why is that important? having a family-owned business that started here to still be here? Well, I think you know, St. Louis is a great community. Uh, we love, I love being in St. Louis. Uh, I have lived in other places and, and returned uh, and uh, really love it here. And the family loves St. Louis. And for us, it really is important to develop and keep the bonds uh, strong within the communities that we serve. And St. Louis is really a fabulous community uh, for us. That's perfect. You know what? We have to take a quick break. But when we come back from this break, let's talk a little bit more about local, family-owned, and one of the businesses here that started small that is really thriving in St. Louis and what that means to the community to have such an amazing gem right here in St. Louis. We'll have more with First Banking right after this. Stay with us.